Now, y'all have to forgive me if I don't remember everything that y'all are doing all the time, because I got multiple classes and they're all doing different things and a whole bunch of like uh, due dates get flown around. So like if ever, um, like first of all, if ever, you know, you're confused about a due date, when you click on the thread, right? Well, let me show it to you. Right there. Okay. So when you go to an assignment and you click on a thread, right? Normally that due date is going to be like right here under the, uh, the heading, right? I try to limit, I'm trying to limit like where, you know, uh, all the different places I put the due date in there, okay? And for digital publishing one, I want to say, I felt like it could be the graduation invitation that it happened on. Uh, it said turn, it said zip and package your InDesign, your AI file in there. Um, for digital publishing one, everything you have will be finalized in uh, Adobe InDesign, right? So if I accidentally made a typo there, if you did do it in InDesign, I did not, um, I did not take away from you. Sorry, not InDesign. If you didn't do it in Illustrator, I did not take away from you. But just moving forward, just in case I do make something like that, all work is supposed to be zipped and packaged at the. Uh, this all, all work is supposed to be zipped and packaged at um, the end of the. Sorry, all work is supposed to be zipped and packaged in Adobe InDesign. All right, all right. So we'll go another three minutes real quick, and then we will get started. Um, <clears throat> make sure, like, we all are aware of the weekly walkthrough videos, right? They pretty much give you a straightforward view of everything you should be doing from the beginning to the end of the week, okay? Um, so for this week, we are going to be working on a trifold, right? We're already doing our postcard projects, but now we have a trifold project that's come in between the postcard project. So like whenever you're in the actual field or you're working for a uh, you're working for a graphic design company, print shop, whatever, you don't always just get one assignment and then when that's done, you move on to your next one. Sometimes people come in with what they call rush orders, right? So this project is gonna be a rush order and it starts this week and it ends this week, okay? So this pushes more of your time management skill, right? And you, you, know, you knock these things down. So for this week, you should be doing your progress three for your postcard and your final, your final submission for your postcard should be due uh, next Monday, right? And then the rush order has started uh, a two-part uh, progress and final um, submission. And the um, progress one for your trifold should open today. And then the final for your trifold should open on Saturday. All right. So uh, were you able to turn in your, uh, your thing to the Dropbox? And you had one too, Mallory, right? Did you have a, a thing that you needed to edit? Movie quote, yeah. Movie quote, okay. Did you, have, did you turn that one in? Mm -hmm. Is that in the Dropbox? I think so. Okay. So let me see if I can pull these up real quick. Turn in your movie quote, Valerie. Edit one. Uh, I think I did. Yeah. I do not see it. Where did you turn it to? Was it the regular Dropbox? Shouldn't be the regular one, should it? I think it's the regular one. Oh, okay. Well, turn it into the um, turn it into the late Dropbox if you once you get pulled up and everything. Because I believe I just have the old the first one. I got the first one. And Avery, you let me know when you turn yours into. Okay. Whichever one uh, is finished first, and we'll take a look at both of them. Mm -hmm. Or take a look at that one first. Okay, I 
Okay, let's take a look at it. What do you think of it? I think it's better, for sure. So just the slightest little things makes a world of a difference, right? Yeah. Definitely take a look at that one. It's a lovely segue to what we're about to do in class today. Avery, you ready? You got it? Mine's turned in. Okay. Is it in the late Dropbox, right? It, yeah, okay. it's in the, yes, it's in the, the late Dropbox. Okay, let me uh, take a look at it. What's, what's wrong? You were seeming unsure of it. What do you think? Is that mine? Yeah. I feel like I was trying to add more, I changed like some of the colors, which I think were good to like stand out, but I don't know if I like did good at it. Okay, let's, let's take a look at it. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of the critiquing, okay? So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. And understand like there are multiple critiques, right? It's not just one, right? You, you, the, more, the more feedback you get, you know, the more you can add to it and you don't have to accept all critiques, you know, but uh, to hear what the other side thinks, you know, gives you a better range and that helps you, you know, make better work, right? Okay, so let's see if we can set this up so everybody can look at it. And also, one thing that people take for granted is you always want people to look at everything right there, taking it all at once, not just pieces of it, right? If you watch a movie and you only watch the beginning of the movie, then you go off and do something different, then you come back, you watch the beginning and the middle, then you go off and do something different, then you come back, you watch the beginning and the middle and the end. By the time you finish the whole movie, you're kind of bored with like two thirds of the movie. You know, because you're waiting to see what happens. Or you may skip the beginning and uh, start watching where you left off, right? But that leaves, you kind of forget what happened before. You don't remember it, you know, all as if you watch the whole thing together, okay? So um, let's do this. Which one of y'all want to go first? She was done for me, so. Okay, so let's do it. Way to throw them under the bus. <laughs> okay, so uh, graduation <laughs> invitation. Oh no, the, yeah, everybody turned it in. They they did a redo. They did a redo um, last time so they could show what their critique looks like. Okay, so. So this was Avery's graduation invitation card. There we go, All right? So my thing is what I had told her, what I had told her was that we have like inconsistencies, right? You know, you everything needs to be like, you know, symmetrical and balanced and everything. Here we clearly don't have symmetrical and balanced, but is that wrong? Right? It's the design there, right? What I think the problem is is that I would love to see it go throughout the whole the whole thing, right? And also empty spaces are always negative, especially if you're going with something that is non-symmetrical, right? Empty space is as symmetrical as you can possibly be. Does that make sense? Like if there's nothing in your if there's nothing, if like this whole room was completely empty, there was no trash, no no dirt, no, it was just completely empty. Wouldn't it be the cleanest that it ever is? Right? It would be completely clean. It's not until you bring things in where it can get dirty. So having something completely empty is as symmetrical as you could possibly be, right? Nothing's out of, when it's empty, there's nothing out of place, right? If this was just a big white piece of paper, nothing would be out of place, 
Nothing would be like, you know, uneven. It would just be completely symmetrical, right? Everything would be there. There's nothing there, right? So my thing is, I like how you played with this right here. Like the lines and everything are, une are uneven. And I would say go with the whole thing here, right? Everything up here is perfect. Then you have a whole bunch of empty space. And then your design is what has all the flavor in there. But when you look at it, it's a little lack of flavor. You know, we want to fill up more colors, which I believe you did in your other one. And I would like to see more of this right here throughout the whole thing. You know, make it fun to look at, right? So this is what we turned in. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay, so let me move it out here. And like I said, you know, and one thing that I just did, when I showed it to you, I put it all there, right there. You've seen the whole thing, right? If you look at something, let me see if I can zoom in more. If you look at something that's like this, you look at it, you look at it, but then you don't get the whole thing. And then you have to scroll down to see what's going on. Then you scroll up to remember. And by the time you like actually take in the whole thing, it's kind of like watching that movie in parts. You know what I mean? So you want, whenever you look at something, you want to like have the whole thing right there for everybody to take in all at once. And this mainly leans towards when you're doing your uh, uh, threads and you put your final design up there, scale that thing down and make sure that everybody looks at it. First of all, the reason you do that, the first, first of all, the first reason that you do that is because um, you don't want nobody to steal your work. If you give them this huge pay, this huge thing, you're giving them this great picture for them to steal. But second of all, you know, you want people to like look and take in the whole thing and they can critique the whole thing all at once, okay? Y'all like how I'm pulling out this uh, final reveal? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the final reveal here. Here we go here, zooming in just a little bit. Mm. All right, so just with the little stuff that she added, which one would you choose, the first or second one? Second. Second, right? Mm -hmm. And is there still anything more that she can do in there? What's the second, is that the second one? This is the second one. I don't see a change. You don't see a change? No, I got, well, I, no, 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 no. I noticed that it's like a little pink rim, I guess. Yeah, you got the pink rim. Let's, let's take a look at the first two. Dropbox. I wish I could use. You know what? I probably can do two at the same time. I'm just gonna open up a new window for the Dropbox. All right. So here's the first one, and let me see if I can just do that little split screen thing there. Okay. So here's the first one. See that? Mm -hmm. Let me just adjust just a little bit. All right, and then here is the revised one. Second one. <laughs> okay, here goes the revised one. It might be hard to see because let me turn off the uh, light. Hopefully, I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But even not being able to see that full full clarity, we can see that one has more going on than the other, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Like what, what what your brains do? What your brains do is that it leans towards this one over here because there's more going on, you know, to look at. Whenever you have like a whole bunch of empty space, you get bored, you move on. Right. Once you once you once you run into a whole bunch of empty space, you're looking for something else to you know take in the information for. So therefore, you definitely lean towards this one here, right? So will we agree that her edit is better than the original, right? What are some other things that we can add to it? 
Like me personally, I like to see more of this design, more of this anywhere, you know? Anywhere over there just to keep the consistency here. But one thing I did ask for was increase that right there. Increase the size of that. You got all the empty space to do something with, it, right? Just enlarge it, you know? That way it'll bring more attention to her graduation and everything. Okay? Anything else that anybody would like to see? Oh, in the circle thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, I see I see this little space here, undergraduate. Yeah, maybe you get it started the text and have it fill out there. And that that may that may work. But a whole bunch of different things that you can do. Although, don't get me wrong, if you want to keep it like that, I don't have no problem with that either. You know, they're just critiques. They're not like, oh, you have to do this. These are just suggestions that you know if you want to play with, you can play with. Okay. Now let's move on to these this next one. And this one here was a movie quote. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. I want to turn on the I wanted to turn on the screen and have both of them up there and then see and then y'all tell me how your eyes made its way and what it landed on, okay? Awesome that it uh, turned out this way because this is going to bring me into my next topic. Brings me in there pretty well. You know what? I'm going to switch it around too. I'm going like I'm not going to leave like have the new one on the same side. I'm going to flip them, or I might not flip them. Who knows? It could be flipped or it could be left in the same position. Who knows? So my question to you is, what happened? What did you look at first? Did y'all look at this one first? Yes. Okay, then what happened? I'm assuming that you guys went to go see what his competition was, <laughs> then y'all made his way back to what y'all liked best, right? See, knowing those type of things, knowing those type of things, like, you know, helps you make sure you get that final product. Remember, in graphic design, it's all about going to that first window, asking them about the food you want, then you make that food and you give it to them at the second window, right? So if you understand all the little things that, you know, that are asked for, you know, pretty much, and, and we'll go into it, it's like pretty much what the group or the society that you're in, you know, finds as their norms, you can add that to your work and then you can kind of have them choose what you think is better. You can direct how other people think to make the composition that you like. Does that make sense? So then let's take a look here. Her, this was her first design here, right? What problems did y'all have with that? I don't know, I don't remember if the it was that gray. I don't know why it's that gray. I don't know if that's what you had at first. This one here is fully black, and I don't know why that's gray. So I'm assuming that it wasn't gray. When I looked at it, it looked like this. But you know, there's X, there's there wasn't that many stuff going on there. Okay. But when you looked at this, right, it was good. It was good how it is, right? But you just simply added slight you know, background features to help, you know, center it. Well, you, you see why, always, why I'm always like, I like borders, you know? Borders don't seem like you can go wrong, you know? But, you know, sometimes you should try what a border looks like, see what it is, and then not. If, if we were doing this, if this was one of a one-off, I would have made some borders just in case, and if I liked it, I would have kept it. If not, I would have got rid of it. But you see how the borders kind of give everything a place, 
when things are floating, it's hard to tell. Like, especially when you have to print something, when they're floating, you don't really know where the edge is gonna be. But if you put a border in there, it's kind of like everything has a place and it's all fitted in there. And it kind of gives it this balance, right? So y'all can see how the borders help focus it in. You know, and then you, when you're looking here, you have the border that keeps you in the area that you need to be in. You read it or you look at the picture and then you go back to read it, then you go back to the picture and then you just keep on going back and forth. That's a flow that, uh, you know, everybody really wants in your composition. We all want these flows in our composition that keeps us entertained in what's going on, right? Simple, at, just a simple border made a world of a difference. See how that works? And um, everything that you do, even with art, right? Even with art, everything that you do kind of should go back to help complement the main per the main subject or the main purpose of your whole composition, right? The border, like there's nothing here. I mean, I think this is good. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this is bad. But I just think that this helps everybody focus on what's important, right? And uh, I taught her the shadow thing. I really like what you did with that shadow thing. Take it on your own. You know, my thing is I'll teach you how to do something, but I won't teach you how to perfect it because I want you to play with it and see what you did. And I like how you adjusted it and then made it actually work for what you want, right? I, I, like I showed her this shadow thing, but I was like, this is something you could do and then let her play with it and then she had it that way. So good job with that, right? And, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, you can always, and because you know, because you're already built into knowing what is acceptable and what's not acceptable in the society. And you won't know how what's acceptable and not successful, acceptable in all societies, but that's what you look for in what they call briefs, right? They give you a brief. How does this community work with this? What do they like, what they don't like? You take all that information and you put it in, okay? So let me move on to my second part. I am going to open up this Photoshop file here. And I am going to uh, pass out a piece of paper to everybody. Get a pen. Get ready to write some stuff down real quick. This will be considered your participation for the day. Paper for you. Paper for you. questions. I think it's about three questions. You're going to either write cake A or cake B, right? So I think there are only three questions, but I'll ask you, which one do you, which one would you prefer, cake A or cake B, right? You write that down. Which Make sure, you, hmm? yeah, we're going to turn it in afterwards. Write your name on top of it, give me your participation, we'll turn it in afterwards, okay? There might be four questions. Okay, so we got two cakes, of course. So that's why we're gonna write cake A or cake B, right? Which cake would you think everyone would pick? Cake A is the one on the left. Cake B is the one on the right. A. Which cake? <laughs> that's why I got paper. We're gonna write it down. <laughs> Which cake do you think the whole class will pick? Cake A or cake B? Write it down. Let me know when y'all are ready. Give me a thumbs up if y'all are ready. So I can move on to the next one. Okay, good. We got one, one so question. far. Go ahead. Okay, when you say the class will pick, do you mean pick to eat? Society. Or? I'm saying class society. This is the cake that we would buy. You okay. want to eat it. You want to sell it. You want to give it to your friend. You want to whatever you want to do. With it. Which cake do you think society would pick? Right. Because the reason we're doing this is because if you were to make something for somebody, how would they like it? Well, that society that somebody lives in, you know, what do they what do they like? What do they don't like? If I went to Philadelphia and I started passing out Dallas Cowboy flyers, will I be, you know, beat up? Beat up, maybe. But if I pass Philadelphia Eagle flyers, I might be more successful. But I need to understand what that group of people like, right? So my question here is, if you were to pick, or if you were to decide which cake 
would probably be most favorable to be picked based on this classroom. Everybody's grading, the, everybody's writing their answer down the classroom. Hopefully everybody's not cheating. You know, which one do you think would get the most votes? Cake A, which is on the left, or cake B? Are we good? Everybody ready for the next one? All right. So for our next question, which one would you pick, right? Which one would they still buy if we change the backgrounds to it, okay? So it's still the same cakes, right? Because we said, like in Mallory's picture, those little backgrounds help focus in on, you know, your actual composition, which in this case is the cake, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take cake A out, right? And I'm going to put this background. If you found the cake in that background, would that cake sell better there? Or let me take that cake out and put this cake in with this background. Which one would be more likely to get bought? Um, Write it down. Cake A or cake B? I don't know which cake it would be. You want to see cake A again? If you found cake A in uh, this background, right? And you found cake B in this background, which one do you think would be more valuable, right? I think pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. But one's in the street alley and one's in the kitchen, right? Which one's more valuable, right? Well, I feel like if you lived in the alley, it would still be valuable. So you think that if you lived in the alley, everybody in society would choose cake no. A. So even if you lived in the valley, you think that cake B still would be more favorable to the entire society. What we're saying is if you were to sell it, what would you do? And we're talking about compositions here, right? The background is supposed to help, you know, the main focus of it, which is the uh, cake, right? So if you were to sell it, you know, you probably want to put it in the kitchen, right? Because uh, therefore it'd be, you know, more subtle, right? Clearly cake A is a more better cake though, right? But even though it's a better cake, the background is now flipped to you know, what we want, right? So that was question two. Would you take cake A or cake B, right? Question three. If this was cake A, can y'all see that? If that was cake A, and this was cake B, which one do you think would have more value? Cake A or cake B? Want me to play it again? Run it back one more time? Here goes cake A. And then here goes cake B. Right? The people that are around in the background can help sell the cake. Now the cake hasn't changed, but the value has changed based off of the backgrounds and everything that you put in it. Right? Okay. Next question. Would you take cake A, would you say cake A was more valuable if it was here? Or would you say cake B is more valuable if it was here? <laughs> it's the same cake, right? Y'all see, y'all get where I'm going with this? So like everything that you do helps enhance what it is you're doing, right? And then my last one, last but not least, if this was cake A, if this was cake A, 
right? Would it be more valuable than if this was cake B, right? So with that being said, that's the last one. That's the last one. With that being said, right? I need one person. Anybody, anybody volunteer. Feel free, anybody. Not all that well. Okay, there you go. What are your answers? Uh, so but before he tells me his answers, how confident that we all have the same answers? Right? How confident do we all that we all say, okay, so tell me on your first one, what was the answer? The first one it would have been KK. KK. Does everybody agree? And then for the rest of your answers was KB. KB. Is that what we all got? Mm -hmm. So do we think we're all mind reading? Do you think that y'all know each other's minds? Or do y'all understand what this level of society finds their norms to be? You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Right? That's the reason that you guys all have the same answers. Nobody's a mind reader. There are no Professor X's in here, right? It's like we all understand what the society is. Now, if we were, if we were like, we changed the society role and say that everybody was like living in the alley, right? There'd be probably more cake A answers, right? We wouldn't mind it, you know? Probably just wouldn't eat the parts that are touching the ground, right? <laughs> we'll just eat every part except for the part that touches the ground. We may have more, but it changes depending on, you know, what the society is like, right? What, what the culture is like, you know, it changes your answer. So understanding those cultures, that will help you make better decisions to help improve your compositions. Easy enough, right? So those are the type of things you think about. And now, how does this all go to graphic design? When you do your work, of course, you want your background, you know, and all that stuff to, you know, complement it. But it goes beyond that, right? Your critiques, how do you critique? You know, how do you, um, you know, turn in your work? How do you turn in your work files? You know, how do you, what else do y'all do? Your drop boxes, your deadlines and everything. All that, you know, all comes together just the same way as this cake and these backgrounds, you know, made to come together. If you're, if you're, if the other things that you do that have nothing to do, because the cakes were the cakes, the cakes never changed, right? But all the things that uh, went around the cake, that kind of brought the value up and down. So even though your artwork stays the same and is great, you know, all those extra things that have nothing to do with your artwork can affect the actual art that you, you create, right? You understand where I'm coming from with that? Straightforward? Cool. And then that brings me to my next, that brings me to my next, uh, my next point here. Just how we deal with. Okay, 1109, all right. So from my next point, I noticed when I was grading some papers, there were people who were like, and it's not just this class, all a whole bunch of classes, that uh, you know, there's not very much to be creative about, right? It's like, ah, it's pretty basic, you know, there's not really much to be creative about. You know, you, you did okay. That's wrong. No matter how basic something is, you can always have a level of creativity with it, right? Let's practice that. I need two volunteers. Come on, two volunteers. Valerie. Oh, let's go. You, you, very, you rarely volunteer. Yay. Okay, we can have a third one since uh, both of y'all. Both of y'all come up here. You come up here. I got enough. All right, so let's take this. You will hold this. We're going to play basketball. You're going to play defense. You're going to play defense. Why did I raise my hand? You are going to hold the basket. Okay, I'll be the backboard. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to throw away the piece of paper, All right? Let's go, let's just throw it away. <laughs> go ahead, throw away the piece of paper. Now, now wait, before she throws it, you can just throw it up. It's your job to just move the trash can okay, yeah, and make sure I she makes you. it, right? You don't have to make it, you just need to throw it up there. Bam, points, right? That was it, right? A basic throwing away piece of paper. You were not the defense at all. No, because I looked away. <laughs> that right? Like, that was awkward. Straightforward? Okay, be more creative with it this time. Go ahead. Send that back. I don't think nobody uses that trash can anyway, so no, don't worry about that. Sure. All right, so let's throw away the piece of paper, but let's be a little bit more creative. Oh, I almost missed. 
I couldn't see the question. Do we all agree that the first time was a little more creative? <laughs> yeah. Right? Even if it was basic. All right, let's take the defense out. Now walk over and throw away, put that paper in the trash. Right? Let's be more creative with it. All right, let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be more creative this time. Dunk it up high. Okay. Right? It's more creative. Right? Creativity doesn't just come from, you know, like if I, if I say draw a circle, right? Creativity doesn't mean like, hey, how creative was that? You know, well, you drew a circle, so it was creative. You can always have different circles. You can always bring your creativity more, right? I can draw little circles in the form of a circle to make a circle. You can always be more creative with it, right? And then not only, not only can you always be more creative with it, you can... And, and I know, uh, I, think we're, I think we're good. I think y'all get the message. You know? Like, if you, you know what? Let's do, let's do this. All right, come on. Let me, let's, do, let's do it one more time. Let me show y'all, like, creativity, creativity. Since you're up here, you play defense against me. Right? Oh. <laughs> right, you're on the side. Defense to that side. Right? So they're like, be more creative. Like, look at my creativity already. <laughs> I, got, I got the position. I got the foot. I can give them a shimmy. Fade. Right. Make it. creativity, right? Yes. Creativity all the way. Okay. All right. Don't worry. My shimmy's a lot better than that. <laughs> okay. So uh, you know, with the uh, with the um, with the uh, critiques, right? The first the first quarter, we were just pretty much making sure the layouts are there. This quarter, you know, we're starting to bring up those critiques a little bit, okay? Remember, when you're critiquing, you want to try to give them, you know, some critiques to help them make their work better, right? You know, um, a lot of times I'm looking at critiques, and they're just pretty much, you know, they, they do this. That's my circle. It's like, I like how you made a circle that is red. Well, that doesn't help you. You just pretty much read or you, said, you wrote what you saw on the paper. It's not a critique, right? So now I want to like say a little bit more. I like the size of the circle that you made that was red. You put the circle in a nice place that you know makes the circle stand out. Or then you know sometimes y'all are a little you know scared to do this. Give a light suggestion on how they can make the circle better. If the circle was in the center, it may have a better effect on it, okay? Because remember, you're not trying to have anybody quit and never want to do graphic design again. You actually want to help them make their composition even better. Give them something to think about. I think that if your circle was in the center, it will bring out more of what you're trying to do, right? And um, my thing is, like, as, like, all I need to do is I just need to hear what you think. I think about it, and if I don't want to change it, I leave it alone. If I do want to change it, you know, I change it, right? But when it's all said and done, the critique is there, and you, you give them what you need to give to help them make their work better. Does that make sense? Okay, so we have that. Okay, so that is what the critique, and we did that, we did that, good. So, with that being said, <clears throat> I leave this, the rest of the class open so that way we can look at work. If you have any questions, we can go ahead and knock that out. And does anybody have any questions with anything that we were doing today? No? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna go and look at, um, I am gonna go and look at the class one more time, make sure I didn't forget anything in the content. Okay, so um, you got closed drop boxes now, okay? So your eCampus orientation photo tile, am I in the right class? Yes, the eCampus photo, photo tile, your restaurant ad and your invoice ad, or your invoice assignments, they are all finally drop boxes are closed, or not, are now closed. So look at that, look at that grade, and um, let's make sure that we Let's make sure that we don't have any questions or anything left. Just go ahead and take a seat, man. We can, uh, we can chop that a little bit. So uh, you got that. 
So make sure you look at your look at your grades. If you have any questions with that, now it's time to let me know. And then you have your assignment four, your Q&A four, and your graduation invitation cards. Uh, they've been graded. So look at that. If you have any questions with any of your uh, critiques that you got for those, let me know, and then we can go ahead and fix that up. And ultimately, look at your grade, okay? The, this is week seven, then we have week eight next week, and then you're off for spring break. Then after the spring break week, we start week nine, all right? And plan out, because remember, you got the, uh, you know, you got the rush order for your trifold that just popped up out of nowhere. So let's uh, make sure that we get those knocked out too. There are no quizzes this week, all right? So we're good. Let's go, Frank. You look as happy as ever. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, I don't know how you want to be able to do this right now. I don't know how you want to be able to do this right now. He did want us to do it like the storyboard of like the topic of the newspaper. Right. So I'm just trying to figure out like, how do you want the raw footage to be? The raw footage is just going to be, they call it like, they have B roll footage and they just have just the regular footage that, you know, you do. You know, like when you see people like uh, mess up and stuff, they have to, well, I forgot what they call it, like the cutscenes or something, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. Like those are your raw footages. So then you then you will take your, you would take those raw footages and chop them up and put them in order how you want it to be presented. That'll be your final, your final thing there. Okay. Yeah, record yourself. Like, first of all, what is it that you want to do? Because uh, if I remember, they're like, uh, you know, like one person would be like, welcome to the nine o'clock news, and then they pass it off, they pass the mic off, and then they show you what you want to do. I'm doing a GTA 6 trailer. I'm okay. I'm talk about that. Yeah. Talk about how I work with me, talk about it. Like, GTA, I heard GTA can be hard, like, to the point where they can put, like, you ain't even play basketball. Like, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. You have a mini game in there. He <laughs> said, they also said, Pretty much ninety percent of the footage you're gonna be off the boat. Okay. So like, it might be, you know, the opera GTA that uh, T Grizzly made, the one where it's not called. I don't think it's called GTA. It's called something else. But it, but it's but it's literally based off GTA, which is better, and it runs off PC. Like it runs off PC. Yeah. And so I think. They're going to try to do something like that, bring that idea, but do it 20 times better. That's why they say when GTA 6 come out, it's going to be on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. Okay. Well, like with 90% of the buildings open, it doesn't take a lot more space. You can pull that off. Listen, if they hey guys, um, sorry, uh, the papers that y'all have, uh, let me let me have those. They also talk about that part of the... Uh, they, they, I, I feel like they're trying to like make it like that other game, but just 20 times better. Where you're able to go into stores, buy your phone, buy your clothes, like, but like actual modern clothes that look like That seems like uh, a nice advertising ploy. Well, I feel like, I don't know. Because GTA 5 is already at its max. GTA 5, they, they already upgraded GTA 5 to max. Why keep nice updating? It's crazy. Nice. If you're gonna keep updating GTA 5 to make you might as well, uh, might as well slide on the slide on the board. Right. Just uh, upgrade it completely. They're saying they're trying to upgrade to the graphics and everything. Right. And I feel like they can't do it because graphics has been getting more and more and more and more and more and more that's probably gonna fix a lot of things that was wrong with GTA 5. Just to fix all of them, improve them. That's why they're probably taking so long to come out with the game. It's Xbox still the state council? Uh, you know if Xbox still the state council? Or they speaking like a gaming company now? You know, like a platform, like how Sega turned it to just a gaming thing? Because I, I heard stuff about that. I don't really know. Xbox been getting that attitude by PlayStation. I think so too. Yeah. But then, my, see, Play, my Play, thing too. PlayStation are, but then PlayStation hit that weird ass shit. They said they're going to lay off 900 people. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? What are y'all doing? Y'all just. See, I, I, see I, think, I think that might be something like why Xbox started fading too, because they don't want to really have that type of uh, storyline over their company, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you a story. I 
we're all experience. like in the same but for your uh, what's Jesus. the call it? You, you got the store board down pat. Yeah, I got. She's got to see. My thing is so like, like when you think you have everything already ready to go, you, you, you're you're five steps ahead. Yeah. You know, but all you have to do is show them what you want to do. That's that's the whole thing. Like how I just talk to you, I just do the same thing. Pretty much, I would put like some uh, footage for the GTA oh. and stuff like that. Yeah, but like, you ever see those like little videos where it's like, where, it's like, it's like, 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 like I always like, watch basketball yeah. ones where yeah. he's like, uh, oh, Bert, turn it up, oh, boop, and then he starts singing and stuff. He's like, got him, got him. Like, I, that's you know, that'd be nice if uh, that was with your video. I'm trying to pull it like, around and so here's campus work of these videos. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing it till I don't know. People have already been playing the game, like GK already let people hop on the trailer. Mm -hmm. really? So you can make your trailer, you can just borrow some footage. Well, we were trying to figure out what you're trying. Oh, yeah, you got footage out there. Look how look how different the graphics are. The graphics like Do you remember GT one? Whack in a motherfucker. GTA uh three hundred but I could never get past the shit. I just felt like I could never get past it. It was so weird. I I could never kill all of them niggas at the because I was trying to unlock the bridge. I was trying to unlock that bridge so I was gonna follow it. <laughs> but look, they saying like it's supposed to be. Yeah, they got that power to like you know let it go. See what I what I see. You got like a lot of things to do. Right. Like, if the graphics gonna be this good, bro, I'm. I'm really good. See, my thing is like, why not just like you know make your section just like a. Uh, uh, oh, like when they rate the games, you know, just make one of those. Yeah. Oh, right. You know how like they like you know yeah, talk about you like hype it up. Because like when you get stuff from Marvel all the time, every time like new Marvel yeah. come out, they make those little yeah. videos. Yeah, like this, like this, this, this like it's this hard. The graphics is more. Yeah, it's, you think that's a regular video game? See the graphics for the other GTA, they were down because you had so much stuff that you know they had to cram into it. Yeah, but now they got they got all that space and power, and they can do it. They can, they can. Right. If they pull off GTA 6, bro, do you know GTA 6 will be the best game in the most? Yeah, come on over here. I know they will, <laughs> game or two. Come on. They, they will break. They will break records, like to the point where they will whatever GTA 5 makes, yo, 20 times. I think so. Like maybe over a hundred times will it be heard. If GTA graphics is one of the good, I don't know. But see, what I think is going to be good for it is because now they got the power, everybody can be online. Everybody can be online. Like, I, I'm waiting for them to do a co op or like a story mode where everybody's already online just doing it and everybody's just like living and going through actual story mode. Bob, like that's that. what I'm thinking. How like, penny every company was a fucking owner? No, they I remember, didn't. I remember <laughs> that's why the company, I was it, was it Ubisoft? Ubisoft, yeah. Yeah, they made like a statement saying they're taking away like, the people who bought the game, don't own the game, saying, you know, all that shit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, so they just hope that the. Uh, Company doesn't fuck themselves over with any statements like that again. Oh, what's what's money is the reason that, that type of stuff happens all the time, man. People but see, GTA, money. GTA got fuck, Rockstar got money. Right. They have money, like I'm talking this, about. I'm talking about end game type money, you know. Marvel end game type money. Uh, my brother spend money on shark cards. Because <laughs> I swear to God, the moment, the moment. The GTA Have you heard about how, like, how uh, someone asked a question to the president of power saying that their numbers are going down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently, like, uh, you know how some gaming companies say, like, they would try to update latest things to make sure that so the numbers don't go down? Mm -hmm. Apparently, power is different. I, I see that all that stuff is like business, like business things. And I don't know how, I, I don't know how they, you know. Decide how they're. How do they know that they're going to be? Okay, so it's depending on. Okay, they have yeah, like every business have a system, like, right? And this system, whatever product, like it could be Doritos. They have a system, right? 
They have a system on small bag, medium bag, and large. And the extra part of this, right? They got four different types of bags, right? For all, pretty much for all of the chips. Right. So they have a database where it runs, right? So every time a sale happens, scan that code that's like, you feel me and it right. runs so so based off how many cells you get you know you will know that your numbers are like going low and especially they calculate it to oh my all gosh. Like, look, everywhere around the world not just well see that's my thing there too do they have people who they pay hourly that they have to keep on paying forever yeah. why not be like okay guys everybody we're gonna make this game and then like after we make this game we're just split like, the money this way that way and then when the game's done everybody's done go on to your next thing I don't think you think the power of money actually has the last of Pokemon? So some people say that. Uh, I remember this one guy on YouTube who, I don't know, is he actually a lawyer? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done a practice. Everybody's a lawyer now, right? I haven't done a check with him. But he's saying that like, the, the Pokemon, the company for uh, Pokemon uh, might not have a good, might not be able to win the court case against Pablo since he wants to. It's different. Be what? How are you going to there's people saying that there might be a court case between uh, the people who made Pokemon. I forgot their name. The Game Freak versus the uh, Power World. Because you know how they say they're taking this. That one's a little. That one, when it comes to those court things, it's like, yeah, especially when they're rich people going versus rich people. You know, it's like you don't ever know how that stuff's going to go. Normally, whoever's the richest are going to get the most lawyers and win. You know. <laughs> But I don't know. It's like I was I was thinking about like uh, like I don't know if you uh, played sixty four and sixty four. WWE those wrestling games that they have there I think they haven't beaten those yet. You know what I mean? And I think that those wrestling games are like the best. Like WWE No Mercy, that's the best wrestling game that they ever made. And like my thing is like. Why aren't they, you know, making a new one yet? That's all made in Nintendo 64, you know? And I'm like, you know, all the all that legal mumbo jumbo and the strings being tied stops people from doing stuff, you know? So they were even about to take away Spider-Man when, you know, Sony and Marvel had that first Spider-Man movie. When Sony and Marvel started beefing, they're like, all right, fine, we'll take everything thing back. You know, it's going to be a thing. But it's like, it doesn't matter what it is, whoever got the legal field, the legal push, pretty much, you know, I recently I played a uh, very old game that uh, still holds up. Oh, I think yeah. it's like, it's also very like a Star Wars part too. I still play it. This is also like this. Uh, 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 what was going on? That versus on God of War part two. Garden Warfare. Garden Warfare. I don't ever play that one. You never played it? You can search it up like the image. It's kind of like uh, kind of like a uh, Rainbow Six Siege, but plants and zombies. But I'm not sure. Wait, no. You get to choose like between two sides if you play online. You either be plants or zombies. Right. I was I was more fan of zombies. Do they have like different type of like attributes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They have the you have for zombies. It's more basic since the world humans, so you have the basic, like, you have the foot soldier, you got the medic, who's basically the scientist, you got the defense, the defense, who's basically the all-star, the sports team, and... That reminds me of, like, uh, what's it, Splinter Cell? Remember Splinter Cell when you had two on two, and you have to play online, but, like, um, the one guys, they were, like, you know, mercenaries, they used to guns, other people had to sneak around, so, uh, was, did they make more of those, or? I would play the very first one. I haven't checked it out yet. My brother's competing me. I can't. You get yourself a nice part. I don't know what that is. I usually switch light for most of the journey. But <laughs> me too. I'm all Nintendo all the way. <laughs> yeah, same. But uh, what's it called? You know, every once in a while. See, I always have somebody around me who has like a, a PlayStation or whatever that I have access to. So 